Hello everyone and welcome to Sandra's Crafting Corner. If you would, please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell. Also like, comment, and share. This video is part of the Inspired DIY Challenge hosted by Yelena Jenkins from Yelena Jenkins DIY and her co-host this month, Antoinette from Simple Yet Chic. I will have their channels listed below in the description box as well as the playlist for this challenge. Now on to the DIY. My inspiration this month comes from Wayfair.com. They had this cute little witch stuck in a cauldron. They wanted $279.99 for it. I don't want to pay that much, so I'll be making it myself. The items you'll need will be listed in the description box below. I got this cute little cauldron last year from the Dollar General. I only paid $3 for it. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to paint it black with this folk art chalk paint, but I'll only be covering the letters. Next I'll be taking these two sets of witches legs from the Dollar Tree and cutting off the boots off of one of the sets. I'll also be cutting off the rings. I don't need these anymore. Now I'm going to attach both sets of boots onto each other so that way I can stuff the insides. Also right here I burn myself so be careful because hot glue is actually, you know, hot. I'm actually going to use this old spider webbing from last year and stuff the feet and the legs. Now all you need to do is hot glue the bottom to close it up. Just do the same thing to the other boot. Using the same spider webbing, I'm going to stuff the legs. Just continue stuffing it until it's firm and do the same thing to the other leg. Using the thicker yellow floral wire from Dollar Tree, I'm going to cut that in half 
and then I'm going to push it up into the legs and push it all the way up into the boot. It helps to cut it at a sharp point so that way you can get it through the boot. Using two more bags of this spider webbing, I'm going to stuff the cauldron. Next I'm going to take this small old lampshade and color it green on the outside. And then I'm going to color it with the black on the inside. Using this scrap piece of poster board, I'm going to cut a circle that is slightly bigger than the top but smaller than the bottom. And just cut it out. Once you do that, take one side and paint it black. Once that dries, just flip it over and cut two little slits out of the back. Next, we're going to flip the lampshade upside down and then install the paper. You want the black side to be showing. Now flip the lampshade over and you're going to hot glue all around the circle on the bottom side. Once that is completely dry, then you can go ahead and install the legs. You're going to push the wire through the slits that you cut out earlier. Just pull the wire all the way through until the legs are touching the paper. Then wrap the wire around the nearest prong that was on the lampshade. Make sure you don't accidentally pull the wire out of the legs. Now just cut off the excess wire and finish wrapping the wire around the prong. Do the same thing to the other leg. For extra security, glue down the material onto the piece of paper. Do this around both legs. Using my Cricut, I made this decal. I didn't like the bewitched word, so I changed it up. Once the decals are on, it's time to assemble the whole project. All you need to do is take the lampshade with the legs and place it inside the cauldron. No glue required. And here is the finished project. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I absolutely love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to check out Yelena and Antoinette's channels as well as the playlist for this challenge.
If you're new here and like what you saw, please consider subscribing to my channel and ringing that bell to be notified of my future videos. If you're not new here, welcome back. Would you please like, comment, and share my video? Thank you, and take care.